someone who hasn't been doing that in a while. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we are chatting home updates and how to spread out the cost of updating a lot of things in your house. Last year, as if wedding planning wasn't stressful enough on its own, Marco and I decided that we wanted to finally fix up our backyard, which meant leveling it out, laying new sod, because prior to that, it was just, we didn't really care for it. And then we just really enjoyed spending time outside and we wanted to throw a barbecue at our house before the wedding. So on top of the wedding, we, you know, got a new fence, we laid new sod, and then I had to buy furniture for it, which is a lot all at once. And not to mention there was a time crunch because I wanted to be able to host backyard parties before, you know, it got super cold. This year is our first, I guess, like, full spring summer season where we can actually entertain in the backyard. And I'm just very excited because it was a lot of fun when we had everyone over last year. Very excited to finally spruce things up, obviously with the time constraints last year and you know, allocating certain funds to the wedding, I couldn't do everything that I wanted to do. So this year I want to get planters. I want to go to the nursery with my mom and pick out things to kind of just liven it up a little bit because the furniture we got is very kind of like basic, but I want to touch it up with plants and colorful pillows and just get some additional things that make it fitting for hosting. And on top of those renovations, we want to edit a couple of things around the house, which I've slowly been doing over the holidays. Like this chair of mine over here is new because I'm just spending more time at my computer, at my desk. And then we also have other home renovations that we're considering, like updating the bathrooms. And so thinking about the price tag of everything all at once is very daunting. So that's why I am very excited to partner with Klarna in this video where I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. And in case anyone else is doing the same thing, like updating things around the house, this is a great way to kind of spread out your payments so it doesn't hit you all at once. So I'm very excited to share with you guys some of my picks, some things that I'm considering for the house, what I wanna do. You can kind of see it from, from my like quick little floor plan sketch. I feel like I could take you guys along on this. This isn't our full backyard. This is just like the patio area that we did, which has like rocks. So that's where the furniture is. This is not counting like all of the grass. Basically this entire area is like all of our grass area. And this is kind of the area that I am working on in addition to just touching up a couple of pieces of furniture around the inside of the house as well. We are going to just do a quick little run through of the Klarna app and how you can best utilize it. It doesn't necessarily even need to be furniture because Klarna has a lot of retailers on their website. So this is great if you are revamping your wardrobe or if you are planning a wedding because those wedding things added up as well. So as I mentioned, Klarna is a great way to give yourself a little bit of breathing room during times where you need to make a lot of purchases within a short amount of time. So it just allows you to kind of spread out your payments so that you know your bank account doesn't feel it all in one month. So I love browsing the Klarna app for whatever I am looking at. In particular at this moment, obviously I am looking at furniture. So when you open the Klarna app, you can see that there are so many different things that you can take a look at. On the bottom, I have a saved folder and you can see here that this is all of the stuff that I'm actually taking a look at for the backyard. I have furniture, I have planters, I have coffee table, and then some miscellaneous things that I'm also considering for inside the house. So this is just a great way to keep track of the things that you're taking a look at. If I wanted to search fire pit, I can search that and then it will show me a lot of products and I can basically compare, save certain things. Otherwise, I am Googling it and I have so many different tabs open. And this is a great way to just kind of compare pricing. I also love the feature on this app on the bottom right where it says money. And I basically set a budget, like I don't wanna exceed this in terms of the furniture. And obviously furniture is super expensive and this is a great way to kind of keep track of your spending because it's also a great way to just really learn how to budget because then if you only have a certain amount that you want to spend, it forces you to be really, really picky about what you're choosing to spend your money on. And this is a great money tip. And I just really love how they laid it out to make it very user-friendly as well as helping you keep track of your funds and where it's going. If I go into the search bar, you can scroll down and I can go into home and appliances. And I love that there are so many retailers that are basically all in this category 
From here, you have the option to filter everything by brand or by retailer. So it's a great way to really narrow down your search. And when you save these items, you can also get notified when there's a price drop. So this is an amazing way to just really keep track of what you have your eye on. And if you can get yourself a deal, then that's amazing. I can go into my save folder and this is a great way to just take a look at everything that I have my eye on. When I see everything together in this way too, I can really check out how they're all looking so that I can make sure that the design is cohesive and the pieces really complement each other. I don't really want to buy from like the same collection and I don't want everything to be too matchy. So that's something that I'm really trying to play around with when it comes to selecting furniture for our outdoor space. Obviously, I also wanna make sure that everything's gonna last and you wanna make sure that it's all weatherproof. So being able to check out those ratings as well is very helpful. I love browsing and planning things out on my phone. I still much prefer to shop via desktop when it comes to these big home purchases. Obviously, like if I'm buying a sofa here, or a coffee table there, because I am trying to shop from different places so it doesn't look too matchy-matchy, um, I really love the Klarna extension on desktop. It makes the payment process so much easier and again, gives you better ways to save because you will get coupon notifications if it can apply to what you are ordering. Okay, so right now I have just switched to my desktop. Okay, so this is something that I'm taking a look at. This is a square coffee table and I really love that there's storage to it. When I go to my favorites tab, all the things that I was favoriting on my phone also appears here. So I can easily just click on these products and it'll take me to the website and I can just easily add it into cart. So I love how seamless that all works because then I'm not like copying and pasting a link from my phone, putting it on my computer. It's just all in one place and I love that because when I'm looking for furniture, sometimes I get carried away and I have like, 10 different coffee tables that I'm looking at. And obviously with the process of elimination, because I'm looking at everything in the collections tab, I can see what's really working and what isn't. Not to mention the prices are all there so that I can compare like, okay, maybe this one is better. Maybe this one's a little bit too expensive. And then that way I can just add everything to my cart that is from West Elm, or I can add everything to my cart that's from Crate and Barrel or CB2. And that way I can just really see how everything is looking all at once, it tells me about any coupons and I can keep track of it in my budget page as well. So let's take a look at a couple of the things that I have my eye on. So I definitely want planters, which you can see here. I think it'll just add a little bit of color to my little sofa area. What plants I'm putting in them, I don't know. That's for my mom because she's the one with the green thumb and I can barely keep my little house plants alive. Once the weather gets nice, I want to be able to just like stroll out there, have my coffee, water them a little bit. I'm ready for like that serotonin boost of just sunlight because I'm always just inside the house. But planters I have my eye on. I wanna keep shopping around because I feel like there's a lot more out there. I believe Athena Calderon has a really good selection at Crate and Barrel. And I mean, you can easily just like browse as you normally would. Oh, these are really nice, um, but they're too dark. So let's let's keep looking. This one I love, but I don't want everything to be too square. And also that's gonna be really heavy. These are the things that go through my head when I'm trying to figure everything out. This is a coffee table that I'm also considering. It's 359, it's already on sale. Um, and I think it'll be nice and easy to move. I wish that they had the storage one in a rectangular shape because that would be great for storing pillows and blankets. This is probably going to be the most expensive piece that I'm looking to get. And that is a kind of console storage area by our dining table out there. And I'm thinking this is where I wanna keep some placemats and obviously plates and cups and linens for hosting at the dinner table. Also need to get like covers for these things. And what I love about West Elm is that they have things, they have the covers that fit perfectly for these products. So I do already know that I'm probably going to be getting a good amount of stuff from West Elm, which makes the four even payments a, like a no brainer for me because I know that these things will solely add up. Um, this one I really love at CB2 as well because it has that extra layer of storage underneath. My only thing is like, what am I gonna be putting in there? You know, when it's outside, it's not like I can put coffee table books and if I am putting something in there, like what is it gonna be? Squirrels could be getting in there so I don't wanna put board games or anything like that. Um, 
So yeah, it's just something to consider. Although I love the look of it, I just don't know what I would keep in there. What is in here? Oh, they put a tray. That would make sense. That looks cute. This one I love because it just looks so organic and I feel like that's what I need for the space. Everything is very square back there. Like we got stuff. I think our sofa, our sofa is from West Elm, but I just love how organic this looks. And I think it'll really lighten up the space. I think it'll be really nice. We have the solo stove right there, but it doesn't really fit. So we're gonna move the solo stove to where our Adirondack chairs is because I think that makes a lot more sense in terms of placement. You can see here in my drawing, this is my solo stove and these are our four Adirondack chairs. And then here I just have a rectangle coffee table, but I feel like the rounded shapes will be good too. And then that way I'm not restricted to just round planters. I'm trying to really play around with the shapes back there. And I think this will be really, really nice. It's just more than I anticipated, but if I can save elsewhere, then we might still be on budget. Again, I am taking my time with this process, I don't wanna rush into it because I do have a little bit more time before we host something. Um, I think the next time we're really hosting something is Mother's Day. So I have a bit of time in terms of making these decisions. I am probably going to end up photoshopping these things into photos just to get a better idea of what I want. But when I'm ready to check out, I will be shopping with Klarna just so I can spread things out and it doesn't feel so overwhelming because yeah, no one, no one wants that. Hopefully within a few weeks, I will come to a decision. I'm gonna show these options to Marco and I'll see what he's really feeling. Hopefully we'll have some updates in another vlog. I definitely want to be sharing content of how the outside looks once it's all ready to go. So once again, thank you so much to Klarna for sponsoring this video and I will see you in the next one.